Oh, hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. The planet we're on weighs absolutely nothing, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, what exactly is weightlessness? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a pop bottle, some scissors, and some tape. Today I am going to show you exactly what is weightlessness. So you're going to start by getting yourself one of these pop bottles. Make sure your pop bottle is empty because you do not want to try to puncture one of these things when they are full. Um, because the pot it sprays everywhere. Unless that's your goal then Thumbs up to you. Okay, you're gonna start by puncturing a hole on both sides of your pop bottle. A lot like this. Now, get yourself some electrical tape, and you're gonna wrap your electrical tape all the way around the pop bottle. Uh, kind of like this. Now, you're gonna take your pop bottle and you're gonna fill it all the way to the top with water. I use TV magic. <laughs> okay, so well, once you've filled your pop bottle, you're gonna get high. I mean, you're gonna climb uh, until you're high. No, you're gonna climb, you're gonna, you're gonna stand on something high. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're gonna stand on something high. Okay, notice that when I take the electrical tape off and remove the cap, the water comes pouring out of the sides of the water bottle. Check this out. Okay, so why does the water come out when I hold the bottle, but when I drop it, no water comes out of the pop bottle? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. When we talk about weightlessness, we're actually talking about falling. When you hold the pop bottle, air pressure pushes its way into the bottle and squeezes the water out of the bottle's holes and gravity pulls the streams of water towards the center of the earth. Gravity doesn't pull the water out of the bottle because the pot bottle and the water inside are both falling at the exact same rate, which creates an equal gravitational force on both the bottle and the water. This is the same reason that the planet Earth doesn't weigh anything. The Earth is being pulled by the sun's gravity towards the center of the sun, but because the Earth is falling around the sun, there's nothing to create weight. In order for something to have weight, there has to be something blocking gravity's pull towards the center of that object. However, the Earth still has what's called a mass, or a molecular volume. We can figure out how much the planet would weigh if it was sitting on the surface of another object by measuring the planet's gravitational pull. So even though the planet doesn't weigh anything, the Earth still has a mass of about 5.9 million billion billion kilograms. So now you know more about weightlessness. You know, dropping a bottle and the water doesn't pour out is why science is so cool.